it's been a pretty crazy week. We've you guys have stayed in Melbourne for a couple of days. I just want to touch on you as the captain and how you've enjoyed getting to know the boys a bit better as well as some of the international boys and you know just kind of bonding with each other through Melbourne and team dinners and the like. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been really good to have you know the uh, this trip away. Um, we haven't had you know we haven't had the chance. Uh, during uh, pre-season and uh, the first part of the season to to really have any bonding trips, you know, because of COVID and, uh, um, have, you know, you're not, you're not able to get together much. So to be able to get away uh, as a team uh, and play three games uh, in a week, uh, but also being away gives us that opportunity to, to um, you know, get, get everyone together and, uh, you know, really uh, enjoy our time, but also, uh, you know, work hard together and, and get, to, get to know everyone. And how has the morale been? Uh, through this period, obviously some of the results weren't ideal, but they're a, very much a resilient group. Uh, what have you seen morale-wise throughout the week? Yeah, look, obviously boys are disappointed with um, with the results, um, with the way things have gone. Um, but uh, in saying that, yeah, there's that disappointment. But you know, we are every single day. Then we come into training and we're pushing to be better uh, and to and to change things around here and really push um, to have a, a good run to the end of the season. And you are now the top goal scorer for the club on five goals uh, after scoring on Tuesday. Uh, are you looking to continue that goal scoring form into uh, tomorrow's game against Adelaide? Uh, of course, I've um, you know I'm I'm uh, happy to be scoring goals, uh, but my you know my main objective is for to, for us to win as a team. So um, yes, I yeah I want to continue to score and, and to play my part, but uh, I, w- I want to win number one. Uh, and for, for the team to be successful. So uh, we're, you know, we're working for that objective. And this weekend is against Adelaide and it is the Pride game. Uh, it's a big occasion for Adelaide as well. Do you think that'll change the way that you guys approach the game or do you think it'll have a, a mental impact on their uh, resilience and mentality for the afternoon? Uh, I don't think it'll change anything in terms of football wise. Um, I just think it's a it's a big occasion that um, we should be uh, acknowledging and celebrating for for the community. Um, as you know, this is acceptance for for people all over the world in Australia, and it's great to see. Um, you know, and uh, I, I hope it's a big crowd, and and we're looking forward to it. Um, and on Adelaide, we get to play them this season. They're a very very dangerous team. Have had a surge up the table. Uh, from what was a disappointing start to them. Where do you guys yeah. see the dangers are sort of lying uh, for our Lady United? Uh, yeah, no, they've got a few few uh, danger players, um, but uh, it's more about focusing on what we need to do um, to to win the game, uh, to uh, nullify a few players, but also, you know, to, to um, really focus on what we need to do to, to create chances and score goals and, uh, and then to give us the opportunity to win the game. And just uh, quickly, Nikolai Muller, you know, he played uh, on the wing and you've been playing with Josh Nisbet as well in the middle. Uh, how did you enjoy that kind of change of shape on Tuesday night with Nizzi coming in alongside you and Nikolai going out wider when you've been playing alongside Harry and Maxi in the middle? Yeah, yeah, no, it was um, it was really good to play with Nizzi in the middle there. Um, you know, he's played uh, a lot lot more, um, you know, games than, than the other two two boys um, but they're also doing fantastic they're two young boys that have been um, have been playing well during the season um, and uh, you know they're still learning and they're still growing as players so um, sometimes they yeah they need time to to um to readjust and and uh, that's what's happening at the moment but um, you know um, I thought Nizzi did fantastic when he came into that role and, and has has been great in in different positions uh, during the season you know out wider in the middle um, and then Nico coming Nico, Nico coming back from injury only recently um, and you know you can you can see the class and quality that he has, uh, and you know every week that he gets more game time, he'll just keep building and getting fitter and stronger, and uh, and showing uh, more of his qualities uh, as as the games and the season goes on. 